Hello everybody, it's me, Immo. I'm back. Welcome back to Crooked Man. Um... I don't remember what we were doing. I guess we were just exploring, I think. Oh no, we had to warn uh, D about... about the thing, and I think we got the key to... the lecture hallway. Which leads us to uh, lecture rooms that are locked, I guess. Oh, hello. We found D, guys. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. D, how did you get into this lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh? You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, it was from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place, and even abandoned really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, lay off it. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid, so I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt like I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time. Any more and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a, a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old, weird old guy wandering around an abandoned school, but... Damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster! Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Do, do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than- Ahem! Don't try and debate with me, alright? I'm a talented, soon-to-be lawyer. You're no- you'd be no match for me. Uh, do what you want. <clears throat> don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> yeah, I will do that, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my alma mater. What's an alma mater? Guys, I'm stupid. I don't know what that is. Ooh. Hey, Paul. I... I got in. <laughs> really? You got into flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You really can do it if you try, man. <laughs> Thanks, but it doesn't make me a pilot yet. 
still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. Make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Aww. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Aww. Now let's read. The school's newspaper is posted up. Ooh, 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 hello, hello. Julia Stone Law School, topics of the week. A big hand for Michelle Statham, or Michael. Let's go with Michael. Today we must pay tribute to our friend Michael for his latest achievement. His dissertation, in regards to current international law, has made an appearance in Regal Collection. Majoring in global jurisprudence in Cindy Peterson's class, he continues to study hard in the hopes of becoming an international lawyer after graduation. Below is the full text of an interview between Michael Statham. I want to read more, but okay, we know his we know his birthday now, which would be 0619, which is a password, which we should go put that in. That's a password. I remember. It's one of the classrooms. Um. There's a monster up here, though. Is it... No, it's, uh... Is it Cindy Peterson that's... Specifically... Cindy's, uh... Top right, isn't she? Great Twain... Friends more... I might be blind, guys. Don't worry about it. Cindy Peterson. And that's... Yes. And it would be... O six one nine. I'm so good at this. There's a key to the lecture rooms. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't like the loop de loop. It's okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's go back down this way. So that would be to this lecture room, wouldn't it? Ha ha! Guys, I'm so smart. Ooh, a note. Ah. I found a notebook scrap. A note! I sound like Sonic the Hedgehog, kind of. Ah, yeah! Alright. I love doing that. I'm sorry. It's my favorite thing. My favorite vocal thing is just going, Ah, yeah! I knew there was something I like. Ooh, this is... Oh, this is the dude. Hello. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My, ambitio my ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I'm a have-not. Something you lacked. I have not. It's true. There are haves and have-nots. Who, who, people whose dreams can come true and... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Again. Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. F fucking hell. I didn't even notice that. Oh no, thank you. Final hit. <laughs> Damn, monster. Why are you... Chasing me. <laughs> he just kind of shows up. I didn't get to read what was on the board. Oh, 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 he didn't. Did he really just choke us out? Then I, I'm, I'm alive. That the monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it! Damn it! That's what you. Yes, when a monster almost kills you but doesn't, your word is damn it. 
I think David's a little fucked up. Just a little bit. Uh, my neck hurts, and I feel so sluggish. I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. Alright, but I want to read. There's a notice about a seminar. 921 in the auditorium. The crime among the impoverished and its prevention. Ivan as Ivan Abelitsev. Abelitsev? Ivan Abelitsev's criminal behavior, a psychological approach, will be referenced, so be sure to read it before coming. Friends more, Professor of Criminology. Coolio. That's probably in the reference things, so we'll check that out in the library. Uh, I've already forgotten what the first letter is, so... Infirmary's over here, right? We can sleep in the infirmary? That's not the infirmary. I should save. Oh, the health. Oh, that's... That's fucked. Oh, here we go. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Do 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 Oh dear Mom are, are you crying again? Sorry, I can't do a thing. I I can't even console you. Wow. That's... That's heavy. <laughs> Yikes. Oh, no, that hits a little. I don't like that. That hits. That hits a little. I don't like that. A dream. Thanks, pencils. Yeah, m Mom always cried in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. Well, I'm feeling better now. All right, let's go. Ooh, wow, I am feeling... 50 HP isn't better, but, you know. Let's go read something in the library, which is up here. Uh, over here, I think. Middle floor. Reference room. Um, but Books on the philosophy of law. Books. Wouldn't it be books on criminology? Criminal law. No? Is it over here? Comparative jurisprudence. Nope. Is it this book? No, this is the thing. Nope. International law. Criminology! There it is. Okay. Oh, yes. Crim criminal behavior. A psychological approach. I noticed in the lecture room mentioned it, this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? There's a slip of paper in here. What's the number 9984 for? No, 9981. What's the number 9981 for? 9981. So that was friends more, right? Who is over here, I believe. Nope. Nope. Guys, I don't fucking know where I am half the time. I'm terrible at directions. Great Twain. Friends. Guys, I was literally here like minutes ago. Oh, so that's gonna be 9981. Correct? 9981. Haha! -ha! A key to the computer room! Guys, guys, we've got to find the computer room. Guys, guys, find the. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. John Keith, uh, Andrew Robinson. Is the oh is the computer room? 
with the computer. I don't think we've seen a computer room. Would it happen to be up here? Lecture room four. That's a notebook scrap. The rule matches these other pages, so he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I, I loathe those meaningless days. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like D was? I guess this would imply he didn't become one. Auditorium. Is there anything in the auditorium? It doesn't look like it. I should save. Wow, we're almost uh, we're almost reaching that that second playthrough I did, that second save playthrough that I did. Fucking, I don't remember when. Ages ago. Oh, is the computer room over here? Faculty room. No, that's the faculty room. That's not the computer room. That's the faculty room. Is it over here? That's the janitor's room, not the computer room, guys. Guys, I've got to find the computer room. Once I find the computer room, uh, because I'm so stupid, <laughs> I'll, um, I'll probably end this off here. Where is the computer room? Would it happen to be... Haha! -ha! Computer room, guys! I should have checked it. So, computer room. The trash can is rising. It's overflowing. <laughs> Alright, lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. <gasps> Printed by Andrew Robinson. <gasps> it's his ID. One four four two four six. Okay, okay, I understand. I understand. Okay. Um, <laughs> friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the end, the rest of our lives. The end of our lives. I'm going to kill you all. There is a bomb strapped underneath this meeting room, and it is about to explode. This is the end. Goodbye. Sorry. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What? The laptop, but... It wasn't on. Oh, um, I thought this was going to be about D. I'm suddenly uncomfortable about this situation. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. He was highly skilled, kind to us all, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. Oh, but our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I didn't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. That's kind of fucked up. Stop it. Stop! You are the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. 
What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere, coward. Jesus Christ. <laughs> dislike the energy in the studio we've made today. I also can't scream that it's full van. Jesus Christ. Okay, okay, wow. <sighs> okay. Okay, David. I see you. I see you, David. I understand. No. <laughs> I'm... I'm not a coward. I... I just... Huh? I heard a scream. Was that you? Oh, no. That was you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? I forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It's... it's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You're super pale. I'm, I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I, I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk. Have this. Huh? I already had it a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously, I don't, I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it, jeez! You really look like you need some food and drink, and I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright, thanks. But what's all this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, it's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a... That's an oxymoron. Lawyers are heartless. Unless you're, uh, Phoenix Wright. He is the exception. You are not him. Well, I guess you kind of have his hair. You'll be- Okay, okay, okay. He and Phoenix Wright, guys. There you go. The two lawyers with hearts. That's it. There's no more. No more. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Besides, it's fate. Tell you what. I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up, you could be my client once I'm a lawyer. Ha. Huh. That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Hmm? No, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. How'd anybody be around here, though? Oh, but can I ask something too? Professor Andrew, he's always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might have still have some lecture notes around or something, but, but yeah. Tell me if you get it open, okay? All right, got it. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. Okay, okay. He's he's changed my mind. You know what? Yeah, see, exactly. You're right, David. You're right. You are correct. He's not as bad as we thought. He is, uh, he is one of the only two lawyers I will ever believe have a heart. Anyways, um, I've got an energy drink. Can I use it now? Ah! Alright. 
that's all the time I've got for this episode. Uh, if you guys like the content, um, thanks for watching it. That's it. That's all. I'm really appreciative of it. Um, I'm gonna actually save over here because we're gonna have to look at the number next time we get in. So, alright. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!